very nice out there, and the Broncos are probably loving these temperatures that are in the 80s instead of the 90s to near 100 degrees. There have been a few showers and storms, a couple of good lightning makers down in El Paso County to the south of Colorado Springs, and a couple of cells just off to the west of the Denver area, but not very much out there for today. Here's how it looked up in the mountains this afternoon. Our camera up at Lovely, you see those clouds building up, a couple of sprinkles on the camera lens, but not a lot of activity for today. And in Denver, just partly cloudy skies, and for the most part, I don't think we'll see more than just a brief little sprinkle of rain this evening. A quieter pattern for sure. Here's our camera that's up at Westminster looking up over the mountains to the west. 85 downtown, 85 at the airport. Humidity pretty low at 23%. Winds are out of the north-northeast at 8. And the top temperature for today, 85 after starting at 58 degrees. The normal is at 90 and the record 100 degrees. So comfortable conditions for this last day of July. And that pattern's going to linger for a while. Here's the reason why the jet stream has become more of a west northwesterly flow aloft and not all that strong, but about 40 miles per hour. Or so as you can see, indicated by the color coding here, maybe 40 to 50 miles an hour. The Monsoon flow suppressed to the south and a series of weak cold fronts will come in this week. That is going to keep the temperatures down and the rain chances a little bit lower. So across the region, this isn't too bad, really, for end of July. 105 at Phoenix and Las Vegas, that's pretty normal, and mid-80s over much of Colorado. So there's the front to the north of us. It's going to stay there for tonight and tomorrow. And just isolated showers and storms possible, but not all that likely. Here's your hour by hour through the evening. The temperatures stay very, very very nice. 77 by 9 o'clock, 75 up at Greeley and Fort Collins. A couple of light showers out on the plains. Overnight type, the skies clear out and the temperatures stay very comfortable, dropping down to the upper 50s to low 60s at lower elevations by morning. Upper 40s to low 50s expected in the mountains. And for tomorrow, not a lot of action once again. There'll be a few storms popping up by lunchtime in the mountains. Little bit of thunderstorm activity moving out on the plains. Temperatures stay pretty comfortable and and the readings are going to mostly be in the low to mid 80s for highs over Denver. A little bit hotter to the north upper 80s. Greeley, Platteville out toward Fort Morgan. And lots of 70s expected in the mountains. So tonight, eh, an isolated storm early. Then clearing in 60. Wouldn't let it really interfere with your evening plans. For tomorrow, the high temperature expected to get up to 85. Mostly sunny, just a couple of storms in the afternoon. That cold front I showed you to the north begins to drop in here Wednesday into Thursday. So that brings a little bit better chance of storms Wednesday. Cooler weather Thursday, just 75 degrees, 15 degrees cooler than average with some showers expected. Then Friday wants to warm up again back to about 80. Saturday looks pretty nice with a high temperature expected around 85. Another front arrives Sunday, 70s with a better chance of showers and storms. That's a pretty good end of July, early August yeah, forecast. Looking